Today we'll be making fruit and frozen yogurt popsicles. With all the different flavors, there'll be something for everyone. Let's get started. First, I'm making my favorite yogurt pops, strawberry and banana frozen yogurt. Combine the strawberry, banana, plain yogurt, and honey into a food processor. I'm using full-fat plain Greek yogurt, but you can also use low-fat regular or Greek yogurt. Just make sure it is plain yogurt. The reason we put honey in there is because if we're only using yogurt, it will freeze like ice crystal. Adding honey or sugar is going to help it freeze nicely and creamy. Blend all ingredients until they are well incorporated and creamy, about a few minutes. Next, pour them into the mold. Frozen yogurt popsicle is a great snack. They are full of natural sugars, high in protein, and best of all, they satisfy your hunger. Now put on the lid and insert the popsicle sticks. And this is it. Put them in the freezer. It will take 4 to 5 hours to freeze completely. And this is what they look like. They are absolutely delicious, taste just like a strawberry and banana smoothie. The next one is definitely one of the easiest and prettiest popsicles to make. It only needs two ingredients, lemonade and fruit. Go ahead and add fresh fruits into the mold. You can use any kind of fruit you like except watermelon because that texture doesn't hold up too well in there with the lemonade. For the lemonade, I highly recommend that you use fresh lemonade. I made my own with just fresh sweet lemon juice, simple syrup and water. I'm going to add some lime zest in there to enhance the lemonade flavor. Now fill up the mold with the lemonade all the way to the top. And this is how easy it is to make a beautiful popsicle. Put on the lid, insert the popsicle sticks, and let it freeze. And here it is, so colorful and tastes so good. Next I'm going to make orange creamsicle. I say creamsicle but there is actually no cream in it. The cream part is actually orange frozen yogurt. Combine the yogurt, orange juice, and honey in a bowl stir until all well combined. Fill the mold halfway with this yogurt mixture. Put this in the freezer for 2 hours so that it will set slightly. We can now pour in the fresh squeezed orange juice. You can also use store-bought orange juice but I always find those being too sweet. Fresh squeezed orange juice is always the best. Put on the lid, insert the popsicle sticks and let it freeze. And this is what it looks like when they are done. Next, we'll make black forest yogurt pops. First, roughly chop up some chocolate. You can use milk, semi-sweet or bittersweet. Also, cut out some small pieces of cherry. Next, combine the frozen cherries, yogurt, and honey into the food processor. Blend until they are nice and creamy. Mix in the chocolate chunks and diced cherries. Now, into the mold they go. Put on the lid, insert the popsicle sticks, and let it freeze. Just like all other popsicles, it will take 4 to 5 hours to freeze. Let's take it up a notch by coating it with chocolate. Put some semi sweet chocolate chips in a bowl. Heat this in the microwave 3 times in 30 seconds intervals. Take it out every 30 seconds and stir it around. Doing this will allow time for the heat to transfer evenly. If you just do it 1.5 minutes straight, you will burn the chocolate. So, be patient and do it 30 seconds at a time. Next, melt some coconut oil in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil into the melted chocolate. This is just to thin it out, so it will be easier to coat this on the popsicle. Pour this into a glass. Let this cool off at room temperature until around 80 degrees. Now take the popsicle out from the freezer and dip it into the chocolate. It will only take a few seconds for the chocolate to set. You can also dip the entire popsicle in there, but you will need to melt more chocolate. And here it is, Black Forest Yogurt Pop. And finally, the ultimate fruit popsicles. Puree all fruits of your choice one by one. I'm using mango, strawberry, kiwi, and blueberry today. And these are the only ingredients needed to make our fruit popsicles. You don't have to add any sugar because they are naturally sweetened. You can use fresh or frozen fruit. If you are buying frozen fruits, check the label and see if it says the type of fruit and sugar. Don't buy the ones that have sugar added to them because it's totally not needed. You just want the fruits in there by themselves. 
How you want to layer them is entirely up to you. For the first one, I'm just going to use mango and strawberry. Scoop some strawberry puree in there, then some mango, and finish up with another layer of strawberry. Now a rainbow popsicle with all four colors. And this is the result. No matter how you layer them, they will all look amazing. And not to mention, super tasty as well. Hope you enjoyed this video and start creating your own magical popsicles. Thanks for watching.